Hi, I'm Adishu, I'm a professional singer-songwriter and today I'm gonna show you how to arrange and record your backing vocals. If you also need to know how to record your vocals from zero, like absolute zero, I also made a video about that. You can go check it out, I'm gonna put the link in the description. So let's get into it. Number one is doubles, aka double tracking vocals, which means having an identical version of your lead vocal but not just copy and paste it. Doubling your lead vocal makes it sound a lot more powerful and a lot fuller. When I have sessions and we have to record the vocals in a studio with other people, you kind of, we kind of used to record them at the same time as the lead vocal but the problem I've encountered with that is that when you do that, you don't necessarily have the final version of the lead vocal, so then you don't know what exactly to double. And I have found a much more efficient way to do that. The way you do it is you record all your lead vocal, comp it, edit it, and then you record the doubles trying to sound as much as possible as the lead vocal. And I usually record two double tracking vocals, one for left ear and one for right ear, they're absolute pan on the sides. And then you make them louder or quieter depending on the song. If the song is more acoustic and more laid back, I make them very, very quiet. If it's a very EDM sound and the voice has a very clear rhythm and it's not very free and like soulful, then I make the doubles very loud. Number two, harmonies. This is a vocal that has the same rhythm and same words and same length as your lead vocal, but is just in a different tone or it has a different melody. Very commonly used harmonies are three, five and seven steps higher. To find what's a good harmony for your vocal, play the melody of the lead vocal as chords on your piano and then pick the second or the third note in those chords and then learn it and then you have your harmony. But there's also a lot of interesting ways that you can harmonize the lead vocal. For example, you could sing the entire harmony in one note. I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna leave. You could play with power, with softness, you could play around with different melodies as well. Now, where do you add harmonies throughout the song? And really the answer here is just be creative, find good reference songs for the song that you're trying to add harmonies to and get inspired from there. But you can never go wrong with adding a nice little harmony on the last words of your verse lines or the last word of every second line in your song, harmonizing the entire chorus or picking certain lines when you feel like the song is starting to get boring and needs something more to it. And you don't want that to come from the instrumental. Number three, ad-libs. Ad-libs are backing vocals that do not align with the lead vocal. And again, you want to add these to spaces that feel a little empty. Maybe there's like a huge break between your singing in a verse and you want to fill up the space with something. You can add some oohs and ahs, some... <laughs> Yeah or no, depending on the song, find a song that is a good reference for your song again and get inspired. And what I really like to do with ad-libs is harmonize them. So when you add an, a yeah, add three more yes in different tones and create the chord with it. I really like that effect. <laughs> So backing vocals is all about being creative, taking risks and having a lot of fun because this is what making music is supposed to be like. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again on my channel. Bye!